How's it going by and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with me, Noble. Let me put this back a little bit. <laughs> uh, I was just coming... I gotta explain first off. Uh, I'm just coming back from the Neuhoff farm. If you remember the last episode, the game didn't save. I had an, a save issue. I had to do the race all over again. I won again. I just got done dropping off the uh, dappled gray back to Neuhoff farm and got the money again, just like last time. But on the way back... Uh, I was going to do something a little different this time, uh, instead of just fighting him. Could I have a word with you? And this is the part that I was interested in, so I figured I better just start recording now before I get to where I'm going. Faint-hearted knight. Okay. Did we have an interaction with this guy before? What is it, then? I feel like we did. <clears throat> it's about this. I challenge you to a duel, Maybe sir? not? I don't what? remember. You heard? Don't try to wriggle out of it. Let's I feel like we did this before. Get to it. Then again, it might have just been something else completely. <laughs> I'm not in the habit of fighting to the death with fellows I meet by chance. Not to mention, I'm just dirty, so... <laughs> Tell me first what this is all about. What's happening is I'm challenging you to a duel. Y'all probably noticed lately I've been Disgusting wearing my tunic I've been wearing. Man! I spit in your yeah, my face. tunic right here. I just don't feel like putting it on right now. I'm like, ah, I'm just going to wear my normal shirts for a while. I am Sir Aldrum of Lossing. Pleased to meet you, Sir Aldrum. He's a very polite so knight. What are you after? A good knight. Yeah. My mother sent me out to get some experience. She's obsessed with tales of chivalrous knights. In short, she sent Bet me you off looking your armor for too. some virgin to save and to win glory in combat. But I have to admit, I'm not very good at it. The armor's also a little dinged up. You can't duel with someone just like that. There has to be a reason. But I thought knights fight for their honor. Don't they? Samurais do. I don't know if knights do. <laughs> Only I'm not a knight. We ought to fight for something more substantial. Like what? No doubt you carry some coin on your travels, don't you? I... I do. So you can bet that then. Let's do it. Wait, well, what about me? What do I get if I win? I'm giving you a chance to fight for honor. That's a valuable thing, isn't it? <laughs> Let's get to it. Uh, wonderful. Money, honor. Oh. Now, I thought for sure I'd be able to walk, talk my way out of this, but... uh. And bet you're probably like, oh crap, that hammer hurt. That hammer hurt a lot. I'm gonna try again with poking actions because I really don't want to clobber his brains in. He's a good knight, after all. Is that enough? You give up? God, weak at the knees, have you? Come on. Just surrender. There we go. <laughs> I had a funny feeling it was going to work like out like that. Everything I had saved for my travels. Oh, well. At least things will be more adventurous now. <laughs> and his ass. Oh my gosh, he only had 20 coins on him. I thought he was going to have like six or 700. Oh, I feel bad now. Oh, this poor man. Come here. You need a hug or something. Can I reverse pickpocket you and give you like a thousand? I'm actually pretty rich. Damn. I am so sorry. What the hell are you doing? Maybe I should have took his sword. He was probably worth more than 20. Oh, I feel horrible. I'm a bad man. I'm a bad, bad man. In the arms of the angels cry away. And yes, I didn't say cry. Oh, that poor man. I beat the shit out of him and took his 20. And he said this is all I had saved up. I feel so bad now. Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm going to do differently is, um, apparently, this mission that I was trying to do, the, um, the green route where you watch and see what happens, 
you could also apparently uh, do another route where uh, I don't know if you're supposed to sit back and let them fight, but I also don't know if there's a chance that you could uh, do it the other way where apparently you can get the guy back at the end in trouble too. I'm going to try for that one. But it requires you to uh, try to set him up and then you come back and set them up too or something like that. So I'll have to figure out as I'm going. But I got the information from the internet because I was trying to figure out what I was doing wrong on that mission. And then, of course, after I got uh, checking that out, I loaded up my game and found out, hey, by the way, you're back at the races. Apparently your save didn't take. Great. <laughs> All right. Oh, jeez. Mr. Dude, are you here? I need to talk to you about, you know, not being stuck in a doorway. There he is. Dude, talk to me now before you get to that door. Once you get to the door, it's over. <laughs> God almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? Yes, actually. I have something for your horses. Really? Put this in their food a few times a day, in small doses. I hope it ain't from that hag in the forest. It's from me. Ah, well, what the hell. Thanks, Henry. Here's something for your efforts. Goodbye. Hooray. That's more than the guy I just beat the crap out of in the woods. I feel so bad for that man. Try not to get stuck in that doorway. He made it through! He made it through! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for him. I've never been happy for a person being able to get through a doorway. Alright. By the way, if you get a chance, check out my uh, videos on... Because uh, I did some uh, Borderlands 1 with friends. So if you get a chance, check that out. It's uh, full of shenanigans. Now mind you... It's not as impromptu as I'd like sometimes, but, you know, jokes don't make themselves. <laughs> I gotta do the best I can. Apparently I'm really violent with friends when it comes to games. <laughs> they get shot, blown up, run over, a lot. <laughs> but yeah, if you get a chance, check it out. Hopefully I'll leave it in the uh, description. If not, you know, maybe <laughs> be on the... Uh, in screen annotation thingy. Oh, darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I see the lights out in my apartment again. Uh, there it is. Oh, look at that wonderful chair. Slash bed. Yeah, I kind of need. Now, let's go back a little bit. I don't know what time those guys get up. Are they still sitting there at their campsite? Are they watching the quarry at 5 in the morning? I don't know. But my goal is to talk to them, apparently get a mission to set up the guy at the bar, and then I get a mission from him is what I saw. So, yeah, I just got to figure out what I'm going to do then. I think it was a mission from him. Anyway we got to play, play a little chess with these friends of ours. Hey, that loaded quite quickly. I'm actually quite nicely impressed by that quick load. But yeah, we're, we're hoping to make quite a few videos of... Uh, Borderlands. <laughs> I have played and beaten Borderlands 1, the one we're playing right now. It's been a long time since I've played it, but I have played it in the past. Borderlands 2, a person I know uh, ruined a very, very important thing. You, if you play Borderlands 2, you know what I'm probably talking about. Uh, not just one, but two crucial things that happen in the game yeah. that I'm like, that is like ultra spoilers. You don't do that shit, you know? And... 
they spoiled the game for me. I got so mad, I quit playing Borderlands 2. I never went back to it after that, because of that one person. Uh, you know, it's just like the experience was stolen from me. And I didn't like it. And I don't really talk to that person anymore. Uh, but, well, it's not just that. He's just kind of an a-hole. But, uh, anyway, besides that, uh, I own Borderlands the pre-sequel, but I have never even downloaded it onto my computer. So, that one, I'm definitely going to be a first-time play with that one. So, that'll be fun when we get to that. Okay, they definitely haven't gone to sleep yet, so hopefully God this will work. What can I do for you? We gotta choose the other option this time. Uh we'll do that. Andrew wants to betray you. What? We've heard this. You wanted me to go to town. That horse wants to get us killed? Now hold your horses. That that swine! That This time we don't choose let him be like we did last time. This time we choose this one. What if we lay the blame on him? What have you got in mind? They have to carry the money in a sack, don't they? What if I took the empty sack and hid it in Andrew's tavern? And then, instead of snitching on you like he wants, I tell Captain Robard he was behind it. Fuck hell. That's devious. That's ingenious. That bastard would end up hanging by his own rope. Then it's a deal. Once we get the money, I'll hide the sack somewhere here in the inn. <laughs> he says here in the inn like we're actually at the inn. I'm guessing the uh, voice recorder guys didn't know that uh, that scene wasn't going to be actually at the inn. So, I'm here. Good. Do you know when they'll come? I, when I? In four days. Sometime. And do you know how many of them there'll be? An entire oh, wow. company. That's a lot. But we're not going to worry about that, because we're going to be trying to take care of the situation prior to it. I do wonder how they got the armor and the horses, because that isn't the uh, armor from the... Uh, uh, oh, I also found out why we didn't get to do those missions. Apparently I screwed up. I chose to start the mission for this. I should have talked to someone else and started the mission for that, where we'd actually go around dressed as the Kumans. So I screwed up. So I apologize if you're wondering why we didn't get to use the Kuman disguises. It's because I messed up. And uh, because of that, it's just over. Okay. I know... No, not that. That. Uh, I was hoping it would show. It says I gotta get the bag, so it's gotta be here somewhere. Unfortunately, it's almost daybreak, which means that my chances of doing the sneaky sneaky is pretty low. So I gotta be quick. There's already people starting to walk around. Alright, time for my stealth outfit. Oh, how stealth. Much sneak. Turning everything off that isn't necessary. Look at that noise down to zero. Probably gonna need to turn that torch off, but <coughs> sneaky, 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 sneak, sneaky, sneak, sneaky, sneak. I'm so sneaky, 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 sneaking everywhere. Pretty sure it said it's in the tower, but I'm not sure if it's this tower or the main tower. When I was looking at what we're supposed to do. Okay, maybe 
Maybe I should turn a torch on because I'm not going to be able to see crap in here. I think I better go to the top first before I go to the bottom. Because if people are sleeping, this is where they'll probably be. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's empty. <laughs> oh, yep, somebody up here too. That's empty. That was quite a risky grab. I was kind of like, I hope I don't fall down through that gap. And he's still asleep. <laughs> I don't think it's in this tower. I don't think I'm going to find what I'm looking for here. I'm glad I did it while it was still somewhat sleepy time. Now, I remember one of the episodes I did, I fell down this hole, like, at the very end of the episode and, like, broke both my legs. Another one? Got nice armor for guys sleeping in the, basically what amounts to a well. I hear somebody walking around. I don't think there's anything down here. Yep, I think I screwed up. There wasn't anything here, so it's probably the... You know, it probably wasn't even what I thought it was. I'm probably getting my stories mixed up. Use Vato, robots in disguise. I think this is the floor I need to get off on, yeah. Let's get out of here before someone says, Hey, what are you doing here? do 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 do, -do. I got a torch that means I'm not a bad guy or something like that. I'll take that. Not sure why I didn't grab it before. Unless it's new. Oh. Hi, Sir Robard. He wiggled his head. That makes me very nervous. I highly doubt you have it. Okay. So if it's not in this tower over here... You gotta pick a lock. Anybody could walk around the corner up a ladder here. <gasps> the money for the Corbin's here. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, I must be in the right place, because, uh, whoopsie doodles. I'm supposed to be finding a sack, not the actual money. Because he said, find a sack of money so we can plant it, right? That's what he said. It's a much smaller tower than the other one. I am so thankful they fixed the uh, lockpicking minigame makes it so much easier. <sighs> Not here either. I hope it didn't mean I actually grab the actual money. I feel like such a thief if I do that. I 
I said before that I didn't actually want to steal from the quarrymen because they actually earn their money, you know? Nope, that's a dead end. Chuck Testa. What's that? It's me, running with a torch. I'm like an Olympic athlete. Yeah, we're going to try again. We're going to try over here at the uh, main tower. Let's go ahead and shut that. I feel like I'm reliving all my first lock pickings from back when we first started the Let's Play. So I went through all this stuff a long time ago. Wow, it's actually quite full. I remember we cleared this thing out, so I'm actually surprised any of this is in here. I'm just waiting to hear a guard come into the door behind me. All those shields are back, too. That's the one I still have in the other inventory. Okay. Well, it wasn't here either. Really hope they didn't mean for me to actually steal the actual sack of money. Wait a minute. There was one place I didn't go over here. But I have been trapped there before. So I really think I need to save before I go down this ladder. There's been a time that I was stuck and could not come back up that ladder. And last thing I want to do is uh, risk having to reload that rock in a hard place save, which is that uh, right there where the race was. Is this it? No, it's not. That is a crappy looking shield. I feel like the information didn't load in all the way or something. The good news is I'm slightly drunk now, which means this lockpicking should be easier. Hey! Locksmithing increase and perk point available. Well, it's not here, but at least I got an upgrade, right? So, I'll also put that to good use. Oh, I have a horsemanship one as well. Didn't notice that. Mm, really don't do much around uh, mounted combat. Hmm, I like that. So put that away. Not much left in lock picking here. Yeah, I think that one's the better of the three. Look at all those beautiful halberd spears and pole arms. Can I actually get up or am I stuck? I got up. Seriously, I just like pluck one, pluck two, pluck three. Just take them all with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think if it's not in this administrator's office over here that I probably have to take the actual bag of actual money. Oh, very hard lock. You know I really want to do this, but you're standing right there. No, I'm not going to do that in front of a guard. I mean, screw me if I screw it up, you know? <laughs> It would have been the quickest way to get inside, though. So I'm kind of having to go all the way around because I didn't want to risk it, but... I can't hope to win everything like that. Don't mind me. Oh, please tell me you're not waking up. Your head's moving up and down like you're... 
about to rise. Not here. Though I see you got that jacket back like I stole from you before. Oh, he's getting up. Hi, friend. You see, well, I'm... I never. He said, well, I never, but I'm hoping that doesn't mean he's going to come over here and go, Gods! Bye. Oh, my gosh. You scared the crap out of me just then. Oh. <laughs> Suddenly, old man. Boop. <laughs> That's one benefit about being slightly drunk is the fact I get slightly better uh, lockpicking skills. It started me in the center. It's supposed to start me closer, so that really didn't help at all finding out where the location was. It's like, we'll start you closer to where the objective is. The objective is somewhere around the center. Aww. Sir Radzik's hood in your thing, anyway. Transformers. You don't have any books I need. I hate to say it, I think I'm supposed to steal it from the actual uh, money. Oh, I didn't want to be the bad guy on this. Game, why do you force my hand? Oops, actually took everything. Hey, look! I got the empty sack. Are you serious? I totally thought he was coming after me. Yeah, we definitely gotta get out of here, because they decide to shake me down now. I'm screwed! I wasn't intending all this to happen. Alright. Well, I'm not sure how much I'm going to edit out of all that, so we'll see exactly what happened. I'm slowing down a lot. They're about to stop me and say, Sir, please step off your horse. I need to check your belongings. Gotta say, though, I hate to steal the actual money from these people. You know, we have had very little action this episode. We beat the crap out of a guy and stole his 20 bucks, and now I'm getting robbed. Oh, no, I forgot I don't have my gear on. Let me, uh... <laughs> Hold on, guys! Hold on. I'm just gotta get dressed. I know you want to get in a fight real quick, but you know I'll be there soon. Whew, man, a lot of gear. Okay. Wait a minute. There's something missing out of my gear set. What is that? Head chainmail. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, I got a shield. I need to put that on. <laughs> Whoops. You probably have friends about to join you, so... Before you become a tree person... 
Now that was an interesting shriek. Cal's like, ah! <laughs> it's okay, Cal. It's only a little bit of murder. Not sure why these guys seem to carry just one piercing arrow. Might as well take what I can, right? Well, that's nice. You can keep the rest. Looks like a half-naked crazy man that was unconscious on the road. <laughs> like normal. Now, I cannot fast travel with this weight on me. But, at least the location is just around the corner, so. Just around the river bend. Just around the river bend. That's a movie I hadn't seen in forever, Pocahontas. Yeah, so, uh... Starting with a combat, ending with a combat, right? One on one, which I'm kind of glad for because if he had like two or three friends, I might have had a little bit of a problem. I like poking people with the, the spike on the end of the mace or the warhammer. I'm like, ha, you thought I was going to hit you, but I'm stabbing you. Fool, he didn't expect this. No one expects a Spanish Inquisition. No one. Uh, well, we're almost there. Oopsie doodles. Man, it does suck that I had to actually steal the money. I thought this was something that gave me an option to stop them from robbing anybody. Everyone gets away. No! So let's put it in barrels, so I'm guessing it's these. No. Inside, maybe? Yeah, probably inside. Could be upstairs, though. Stew? No stew. Yeah, it's probably upstairs. It's probably his personal room or something. I thought for certain it said barrels, though. The basement. There's a basement down there. Uh -huh. Wow, it's on fire. What a perfect place to put that. Well, I mean, I could snitch, or I could snitch and rob. <laughs> I am the best worst thief ever. It's like, you know, I could have just let things be. But I ended up being worse than I thought. Oh yeah, just take everything. We're already overweight. I don't think anyone's coming down here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take your... No, I don't want to take the milk. I want to take the drinks. Things that aren't going to go bad anytime soon.
That's good. <laughs> well, I think this video has gone on long enough, so we've gotten the objective done. I feel like a worse criminal. I talked so much about how mad I was that those guys were stealing from the quarrymen, and I did even worse. I stole from the quarrymen myself. And apparently I'm about to make these guys have a bad day. So I'm a bad friend. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and buy a room, stay the night, uh, drop the stuff off. I'm you know the rest. You come to me. So, thank you for stopping by and joining me. If you liked it, hit that like, subscribe for future uh, uh, content. If you like it, hit that bell icon as well for notifications. And uh, drop a comment below if you feel like it. Until next time. Take care, everybody, and I'll sleep? see you all in the next episode. Hail.